So for this pass, we're gonna have our arms extended. We can use a couple of different grips. We can have fingers in, we can go thumbs in, we can go uh, heel of the palm. Um, I think most recently we talked about it with this grip, but all of those work differently for everybody. So try all of those. Sometimes in Nogi, I just go fists in the armpits. But if I have lapels, usually I use the lapels. The deal here is that if Erickson is able to get his hands inside of my arms while I'm executing this pass, I am in danger. Especially if my head is high. If my head's low, less danger. But there are a lot of times where it's just like, man, just drop back down and reset. So if I find that my arms are in danger, I always can press my elbows to the outside of his hips, and this is a safe spot where I can rebuild from. So I'm gonna put my head low. I'm gonna pop up, my head stays pretty low. You notice he walked his guard up my back because that's how he uh, executes an arm bar from here. So this gives me a space in the middle. There are more and less brutal ways of doing this. Um, and you'll see some pretty brutal versions of this. This is less brutal. This is situationally less brutal because his walking his legs up to my shoulders opened up a little space in front of my chest. So in response to that, I'm gonna line my feet up with one knee in, the, uh, in between here. I'm not really looking for his tailbone in this case, but I will contact it a lot of the time. There are versions of this where I'm looking to find his tailbone and get a little pain compliance out of it. In this case, I'm just gonna sit back over my back foot and pull my knee to my chest, and that will put it through that hole right here. If he doesn't open his guard here, a lot of the times, all I need to do is just flare my knee to the outside if that's the case, I'm probably going to cut over this uh, hip, but uh, in this case, we're going to cut over the opposite side hip so that we can go to that submission that we looked at yesterday. So now, I have to clear this leg. So I get tight with this grip in the armpit so this shoulder can't come up, and I don't want him to be able to pummel here, right? So I'm going to come up high. I'm going to staple and clear this leg with my hand. And now I can get low and scoop this arm. My head goes low to the outside, but I can put it on his chest and under his chin as well. So I get here, I'm gonna sit out, and I'm gonna come to this Kaskatami, and I'm gonna come up high, like we were doing the other day, and come to this side control, where I hide my foot under my butt, and I get a hold of this elbow. Now I can step over, hold this elbow as I sink back, and finish that off.